now we're in bathroom number five. Bathroom number five was designed in a dark manner, which I love to play with dark finishes in bathrooms because I think that's a way where you can express yourself and it makes the space look very dramatic. We also continued the design focal of elements. And as you can see on the walls, I uh, incorporated these bamboo tiles with a natural black marble floor. And I went black on the sinks, a zebra vanity, and a beautiful black freestanding tub. The shower was incredible and we raised the floor because we needed to as far as plumbing, relocating plumbing in a condo building. So I didn't want to cave in the shower. What I did was instead of building a wall and creating a glass niche or a towel holder, we did a shower enclosure with floating glass shelves, which was a really cool element that we had a hard time engineering at first, but then it came into a beautiful execution. The shower is a drop-down shower with a floating bench and a rough natural stone with black mosaic and a linear drain and the beautiful Callista finishing with the bamboo engravement on the fixtures to mimic the tile on the walls. Walking into bedroom number five, I kept the space very light and I kept the walls extremely light. We use this Latisse suede wall covering. The floor is very light and I pulled in the bamboo dark wall covering behind the bed to continue the design into the bathroom. Everything was custom designed the bedding, the rugs, the bedside tables. All custom furniture, sleeper sofa for extra space. This dresser I designed and I drew out in the same bamboo design to continue the flow as well as the color scheme. I even used these beautiful Lisa Jarvis bamboo-looking handles to accentuate the piece. 